Alrighty guys, we are about to do a small swim bait versus big <laughs> swim bait challenge. We got the big boy versus the small boy. So let's get to it. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are out with our boy Weston Smith. What's up guys? Getting lit on the lake and today we are testing out a brand new lure uh, by Mike Buka and Ketchco. It is the baby bull gill. Uh, there's actually not one in that package because I have it tied on but let me show you guys a few different colors that we picked up. We have the baby bass edition, we have the ruby gill, and then we have the violet brim. Uh, all these are available at shopcrawls.com, guys, so I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can get right over there and get you guys some of these bad boys. But today, we're going to be getting out in the water, like I said, with Weston. He's testing out the battle shad, and I'm going to be giving it a go on the uh, little gill, trying to see if we catch some fish. So enough with that. Let's get out there. Alrighty, guys. We are all tied up with the baby bull gill. We got the violet brim color on first. Look at that thing. It is money looking. It's got some nice uh, holographic paint style, I guess, in there. Red eye. Little orange belly and uh it's it's gonna get hit i know it is all right guys first spot we're gonna start tossing this thing is right up against the wall and uh just kind of getting our oops first cast right into the sidewalk i already busted some paint off of it they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand for reals well don't do that guys but let's try to test this thing out for reals this time there we go. Yes. Just keep my rod tip down. Try to figure out this bait a little bit. I don't know how fast it drops. So I'm going to have to try to figure that out as I'm fishing it. I'm actually tossing this on braided line. Most people would probably use fluoro for something like this. Uh, it's just something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with when I'm tossing one of these a little bit pricier uh, lures can definitely get snagged up in this location. And uh, the only thing about the braid is it's gonna make the lure fall a little bit slower than normal, but uh, that's kind of what we're trying to figure out how to work it. So right now the way I'm fishing this thing is I'm kind of slow reeling it, letting it drop, slow reeling it, and then letting it drop again, hoping that the fish usually picks it up on the drop or when I'm taking off, uh, they're gonna assume that it's either a fish that's getting spooked or a fish that's kind of just chilling out. And that's when they're gonna come and strike this guy. So funny, I got kicked out of here like two days ago. All right, guys, just pulled up to location number two. We are still tossing the baby bull gill. I've yet to get a bite. Like I said, the weather has really affected the uh, water that we have over here is starting to turn. And uh, right now we're just fishing another little local pond, trying to get the bite going and see if we can pull one out on this bull gill. We actually got our boy Red Day. Uh, he just pulled up a few minutes ago, trying to fish it with us. And Weston's over there again. Uh, I'm not sure what he's tossing. I think the battle between the swim baits is over. Because I really doubt anything is going to be biting a battle shad over here. I will tell you guys that these hooks are extremely sharp on this bull shad. And the swimming movement is just almost so realistic. I love it. I've actually started kind of trying out different styles with it. It kind of worked like a jerk bait and also just slowing down and speeding up. And no matter how I really work this thing, it has come out really nice. Really nice swimming. Really nice action. And uh, now we just need to get a bite. A little drop off point right here in front of me. So I'm gonna try to fish right by this. There's also a runoff across from me. So I'm hoping that the bass are either near these little drop offs or near the runoff where they are gonna be picking up any sort of grubs, baits, fish, anything that really falls in the water. Nothing yet, man. Just got here like five minutes ago though. Just gotta find him today. You have a good one. So he says there's some big fish in here. That means we gotta find him. In my uh, experience, even in cold weather, bass like to hug up against structure. So I'm gonna work my way over here towards the most structure that I can see. There's a little layover right here in the water. Kinda work towards that, but I wanna get towards these tree lines over here. 
where we actually have some roots in the water and uh, hopefully those are kind of holding some heat. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Last second, but we got them. We got them. It isn't a big boy, but it's a good boy. And I'll take it. That's our first one on the baby bullgill, baby. That is how you do it. Not huge, but a good one. It's probably like a one pounder, man. He's chunky. A nice one. Not huge, but I'll take it. Back in the water. Wow. These things have some sharp hooks because that guy was barely barely hooked and it had him like velcro just stuck right to it i was just slow rolling this thing actually right outside of this fountain area and uh smacked it on the way in there's no lie on that he wanted that thing slow rolling it too so this thing works swap ponds got to a little bit smaller location where uh, they're probably not as deep and as you can see it's paid off already red day's got one i got one oh what? Dude, I got myself. I got tied up on something now. I got something tied up. Oh, yep, I'm on the cord. Did I get it off? Yeah. And that is exactly why I use braid, guys. Talked about it earlier in the video. A lot of people throw flora with this instead of braid. Oh, we throw in braid all day, baby. 40 pound braid. A little bit slower sink, but don't gotta worry about things like that getting caught up on our lures. Another thing, a shout out to Ketchco, guys. They make some amazing lures. This baby bull gill is just money. They teamed up Mike Buka. They do a lot of the other baits uh, that are available on Carl's too. Ketchco is probably my favorite company that's out there. Trying to get closer towards these roots. Like I said, there's also a drain over there, it looks like. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he smoked that thing so hard. Oh my gosh. He actually hit it and then swam off with it. And uh, check this out, guys. Got him on the belly. Didn't even keep it in his mouth, but look at that. Kept him hooked. These hooks are no joke, I'm telling you. They're like Velcro. It's fish number two, less than five minutes. This bird's hungry. All right, you guys, fish number two. You weren't lying, man. They're biting now. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> All right, fish number two, guys. That was a healthy one. Wow, they are smacking this, uh, this bluegill right now. That bird's so mad that I put that fish back in the water. You gotta catch your own fish, buddy. Get yourself one of these lures. Available at uh, shopcarls.com. <laughs> like I said, we're working our way closer towards the structure. So I'm assuming it's a little bit deeper. I'm trying to stay parallel with the actual uh, bank. So I'm like working different areas of the bank, trying to actually get towards the drop-offs. And uh, it's two fish kind of just working the same way. Not too fast, not too slow. And uh, just keep them moving. It's usually what I do when I'm fishing ponds like this. Just keep moving and keep tossing and so far it has uh, paid off we got ourselves two nice ones one thing about these baits is i never like to bring them all the way in super fast when you get to the end because these bass will wait until the last second to strike anything that looks like a bluegill just because they are waiting for it to get to its weakest uh or the easiest place to target it which is going to be when it's turning its back going up towards the shore or uh, out into the deep so these fish are not stupid they know when to strike so that's what we got to remember too Oh yeah, there we go. There's another one. I knew that there was one in there. Ooh. I knew there was one in there. Fish number three, not a big one, but a good one. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today. Uh, my first impression of the baby bullgill by Mike Buka and Ketchco is that this thing is just dynamite. It attracts bass, uh, especially at the smaller local ponds. I know it'll work really good at that lake. Uh, it's just the weather has 
kind of shifted. Everything's changing and they're probably going a lot deeper. Um, but as you guys saw, we changed up location and it got struck. I mean, three fish in under 30 minutes. I mean, that, that speaks for itself. Uh, it has amazing features too. It's got that brush tail. So it's really easy for bass to go ahead and hook up from behind multi-jointed so it creates ultra realistic swimming it is three quarters of an ounce so you get that nice distance but it's also slow sinking uh, so that really helps you know getting out there and being able to retrieve it without getting snagged velcro like hooks i mean look at that it speaks for itself so all in all i really really like these lures for ten dollars i mean you really can't beat it ten dollars and some change at shopcarls.com you can only get it if you're a member uh, I'm going to leave a link below in my description so that way you guys can jump on over there and take a look at them. And I'm actually going to be giving away one of these lures, guys. So all you got to do is jump on over to Shop Carl's. Let me know your favorite color. Leave it in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and you're subscribed to the channel. It's that simple. I'm going to pick one of you guys out of the comments. We're going to ship you one of these lures, even if it's the sold out Ruby Gill. We got that right here. I also got the baby bass. I know they got the bone available and they got the blue gill color available. And the one that I use today, once again, Violet Brim. I'm going to probably keep throwing this one because it's one of the most realistic uh, patterns to the, the gills in my area. They're kind of uh, getting cold and hunkering down, so they're changing colors, getting a little bit darker, uh, and I'm really a believer in matching the hatch. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, once again, if you wanna win one of these lures, all you gotta do is go ahead and leave that information below in the uh, comments, like the video, make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna leave a link below for shopcarls.com so you guys can jump over there, take a look at it. Once again, thanks to uh, Catch Co for you know these awesome lures. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.